the brain perceives space in accordance with Lobachevsky's geometry. Biologists have shown that the neural networks of the hippocampus, responsible for spatial perception, do not change in a linear way, but in accordance with hyperbolic geometry. That is, the brain represents space in the form of an expanding hourglass. The results of the study may have implications for a better understanding of various neurodegenerative disorders. Young children sometimes feel that the moon is much closer to them than it really is, and that they can touch it just by reaching out. When we move in our daily lives, we tend to think that we represent space linearly. However, now scientists from the Salk Institute, USA, have discovered that the amount of time we spend studying the environment leads to the fact that our neural representations change non-linearly. The results of the work, published in the journal Nature Neuroscience, show that hippocampal neurons responsible for spatial navigation, memory and planning perceive space in accordance with non-linear hyperbolic geometry or Lobachevsky geometry. In it, three-dimensional space expands exponentially outwards, in other words, it has the shape of an hourglass. At the same time, the size of space in our view increases depending on the time spent in any place. And the studied space expands logarithmically, which corresponds to the maximum possible increase in information that our brain can process. In the course of research, scientists used advanced computational approaches. They pioneered the use of hyperbolic geometry to better explain the perception of biological signals, such as smells. Now the authors have shown that Lobachevsky's geometry also controls neural responses, since hyperbolic maps of sensory molecules and events are perceived by neurons, which, in accordance with them, form maps of space in the brain. Experiments on rats show that representations of space by brain neurons dynamically expanded depending on the amount of time the animal spent studying each environment. When the rat moved more slowly, it had time to get more information, which caused a greater increase in neural representations. The results of the study will allow us to better understand the neural activity in various parts of the brain. In addition, they are important for analyzing data on neurodegenerative disorders related to learning and memory, for example, Alzheimer's disease. Stay tuned for more updates.